now let's see about uh, literals in java language uh, literal means uh, a constant value uh, which is assigned to a variable uh, let's take an example uh, int a is equal to 10 so here int means a data type a means a variable whereas this 10 means a literal or constant value uh, which is assigned to a variable called a uh, in java language literals are mainly classified into five types first one integer literal second one floating point literal third one character literal fourth one string literal fifth one boolean literal so the first one is so what is the first one uh, integer literals first one integer literals second one floating point literals second one floating point literals third one character literals character literals fourth one string literals fifth one boolean literals so in this video we will discuss about all these literals uh, let's see the first one the first one is integer literals so the name itself specifies the meaning integer literal means it accepts integer values uh, there are mainly three types of integer literals are available first one decimal literal second one um, octal literal third one hexadecimal literal so integer literals are classified into three types so first one is uh, decimal literal so decimal means uh, base 10 second one uh, octal literal so octal means base 8 third one uh, hexadecimal literal hexadecimal literal hexadecimal means base 16 so let's see the first one uh, decimal literal uh, it allows the digits from 0 to 9 0 to 9 uh, so uh, let's take an example some 278 so this is a decimal literal why because what is a decimal literal it allows the digits from 0 to 9 second one is octal literal uh, it allows the digits from 0 to 7 it allows the digits from 0 to 7 and and an octal literal always begins with zero octal literal always begins with zero example so this is the example for uh, an octal literal so 0 27 <coughs> so octal literal always begins with zero and in a octal literal allows the digit from zero to seven okay and the next one is hexadecimal literal uh, it allows the digit from zero to nine and a to f which may be either in lower case or upper case letters and out and hexadecimal literal always begins with 0x hexadecimal literal always begins with 0x it may be either small x or capital x okay and, and here we know that hexadecimal literal allows the digits from 0 to 9 and a to f so this a to f may be either in lower case or upper case letters a means 10 b means 11 likewise f means 15 okay so 0x let us take some combination 7 9 a c like that so this is nothing but uh, a hexadecimal literal so this is about integer literal uh, now let's see the second one so the second one is floating point literal uh, we can uh, it is mainly useful in order to store a floating point number uh, floating point literals are mainly classified into two types yeah i'm sorry uh, we can represent a floating point number in two ways we can represent a floating point number in two ways the first one is uh, fractional notation we can represent a floating point number in two ways first one is uh, fractional notation uh, whereas the second one is exponential notation so by using these two notations we can represent uh, a floating point number uh, let's see the fractional notation uh, a floating point number which is represented in fractional notation must contain a decimal point and before and after the decimal point we should have minimum one digit so 123.45 like that <coughs> so we should have minimum one digit before and after the decimal point uh, here uh, by default uh, uh, double will be taken as a floating point number uh, here we have uh, two types of data types are available under floating point first one is uh, float uh, whereas the second one is double by default double will be considered as a floating point number 
so if we want to assign a floating point number explicitly then it should suffix it with either small f or capital F so float a is equal to 1.2 semicolon <coughs> this is invalid statement why because by default double will be considered as a floating point number okay if you want to initialize uh, like this then it should ends with either small f or capital F whereas coming to the double we can initialize directly here why because by default double will be considered as a floating point number if you want uh, we can suffix with we can ends with either small d or capital D where d specifies that it is a double number uh, the major difference between float and double is that uh, if you take float then after the decimal point uh, we can store uh, 4 to 6 digits whereas if you take double then after the decimal point we can store uh, some 5 to 14 digits so this is the major difference between a floating point and a, a double point a float and double data type the accuracy is important okay if you want to store uh, 4 to 6 digits after the decimal point then we can go for float and whereas if you want to store uh, some 12 to 14 digits or some 14 to 16 12 to 14 digits then we have to go for uh, a double number so this is the first notation and the second notation which we use is exponential notation uh, in exponential notation we use a formula called uh, m into e power uh, b where m sta where uh, m into b power e where m represents a mantissa so mantissa may be either uh, uh, integer number or uh, floating point number b means base value uh, if you don't specify any base value then uh, 10 will be considered and the third one is e e stands for exponent e stands for uh, exponent exponent value must be an integer value exponent value should not be a floating point number exponent value may be either positive integer or negative integer but it should not be a floating point number uh, let's see an example here so 1.2 10 power minus 5 so 1.2 means it is a mantissa 10 means uh, this base value minus 5 means exponent value let us take one more example minus 0 0.57 e minus 5 so minus 0 0.57 is mantissa value uh, here uh, base value is not given so 10 will be considered as a base value and minus 5 is the exponent so this is about uh, a floating point uh, literal and the third one is character literal so we know what is a character literal a single character which is enclosed in single quotation here the character may be either uh, either an alphabet or a digit or a symbol okay so at the rate symbol okay so a single character which is enclosed in single quotation is nothing but a character literal okay all escape sequences are treated as uh, character literals we have several escape sequences like uh, slash n uh, slash t likewise we have uh, vertical tab carriage written form feed uh, likewise we can have likewise we have uh, several escape sequences all those escape sequences will be treated as a character literal and the fourth one is string literal so we know what is a string string means a collection of characters uh, in java string is treated as a class so s is uppercase so string s is equal to within the double quotation abc so string means a collection of characters uh, which are enclosed in double quotations here the character may be either uh, alphabets or digits or symbols or some combinations there is no problem and the last one is boolean literal so boolean can hold uh, either true or false okay so boolean means it can store either true or false so boolean a is equal to true boolean b is equal to false like that here true and one are different false and zero are different if we write a statement like this boolean a is equal to 1 then the compiler generates error message why because here 1 means integer number okay if you want to represent true value then we have to write as true if you want to represent false value then we have to write as false false and 0 are different uh, likewise uh, 2 and 1 are different so this is about uh, the literals in uh, java language